Welcome back everybody to another episode of Loch Ness TV. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your continued support. I want to welcome everybody who's recently subscribed. As of right now, at the filming of this video, we are three subscribers away from 700. I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. Let's get into the video. I just want to ask everybody one favor from you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like below. It helps the video reach more people and it lets me know that what I am doing, you guys enjoy. And if this video reaches more than 15 likes, we'll do another comparison video. Whatever you guys want. Just comment down below what you'd like to see and we will do an in-depth review on something that one of you guys choose. So in today's video, we are going to be comparing, in my opinion, three of the biggest brands of stick baits. That being the Guggenbaits, Lunker Log, the Yum Dinger, and the original Gary Yamamoto Senko. Things we're going to cover in today's video are going to be the price of the baits. We're going to look at each one, see which one costs the most, see which one costs the less, the least, the most least. You know what I mean. We're going to do a du durability D. We're going to do a durability test, so I'm going to tie some fishing line to this, put a hook on the end of it, and we're going to Texas rig each one of these and give it a yank. And we're going to see how much force it takes to break the stick bait. We're also going to uh, cut each one open. We're going to see which one has most salt, least amount of salt. And finally, we're going to do underwater footage of all three of them. We're going to do them Texas rigged and wacky rigged and see which one out of these three you have the best action with. This retails at the five inch uh, Dinger or Senko stick bait. For five inch is $3 or $2.99, which you guys are seeing on the screen right there. And there is eight of them in here. So for three bucks, you get eight stick baits. And then last but not least is the Guggen Squad or the Guggen Baits Lunker Log. And for a five inch eight pack, that retails for $6 or $5.99. So obviously, as far as prices go, the Yum Dinger's obviously the winner. Uh, $3 for eight of them, uh, what's that equal to? So that's like 37 and a half cents a piece for the Yum Dingers, whereas I believe both of these are 75 cents a piece. Uh, from the previous videos which I'll leave up in one of these corners up here for you guys to see if you just want to see the comparison on these two that'll be up there so yeah obviously you can't beat three bucks you know if you want to go cheap I would obviously say use the um dinger uh, I might say to get something other than that by the end of this video we'll see what happens okay so next we're gonna go over uh, we're gonna cut each of these open and just take a look inside of them. Uh, obviously, these are all impregnated. Impregnated? We're gonna go with impregnated. These all have salt inside of them. Uh, I'm curious to see which one's gonna have the most, the least. Uh, that's based off of, you know, just because it has more salt, it doesn't mean it's gonna be the better bait. A lot of this stuff is all what, you know, it's your discretion. Use, use what you want. This is just to show you guys it's just an in-depth review. I want to show you guys what's inside all of it. Hey, Graham, are you drinking my water? You know we need that. The people need that, buddy. Don't drink it all. So I'm going to open up each of these, get one out. Uh, obviously, these are all different colors. Uh, I didn't really think that that mattered. I just grabbed what I had available to me. Well, I thought the Guggen Squad had some, pa some crazy packaging. Yum takes it by the cake. I'm going to try to keep this organized for you guys so that way we don't lose track of which ones are which. So there they all are. So that's the Sanko, that's the Guggen Squad, and this is the Yum Dinger. The only difference between all three of these is the fact that Yum puts a little recessed area in there to hide your hook point. Other than that, if I rolled these over, nobody's going to be able to guess and tell me exactly which one's which. They, they're so stinking closely related, they all look just about the same. All right, so I'm gonna go cut all these open for you guys, and then we're gonna take an in-depth look at these. Okay, so 
here is the Gary Yamamoto Senko. You can see it has some salt on it. Uh, very s small pieces of salt. Here is, this one is the Guggen Squad, or the Guggen Baits, bunker log. And you can see it has very big chunks of salt in it. Very, very big. And then lastly, here is the Yum Dinger. You can see there's salt in it. It's just extremely, extremely tiny pieces of salt. Uh, I would say this is like table salt size. It's very, very fine. So whatever kind of consideration that makes you choose, at least you can see it. So Gary Yamamoto Sanko, Guggen Bates Lunker Log, and the Yum Dinger. Okay, so I kind of rigged up this, uh, this fishing scale. I put a hook on it. And my, my goal with this is going to be, I'm going to Texas rig each of the baits on there, turn this on, pull on, just on the bait, and see how much tension it takes until the bait tears off the hook, and hopefully be able to see what the number is. Okay, I have the Yum Dinger on here. It's going to be out of frame because really I want you guys to be able to see this. So I'm going to keep the scale here in front of the camera, and I'm just going to apply pressure until it tears. So obviously I have no idea what that number was. It was two something I believe. We'll be able to see in the footage though and uh, I'll lay it, I'll inlay it uh, in text for you guys. Okay, this is the Guggen Bates Lunker Log. I'm gonna try to just do this real slow. It's right there. You can see that tour. Again, I couldn't see the number. Uh, I'm trying to pay attention to when these things tear to give a, the most accurate representation for you guys and lastly we are going to do uh, Gary Yamamoto Senko. Put that out. Okay here we go starting to pull uh, last number I had seen was like 194 on that one again I'll be able to see it better once uh, once I put the footage into the computer. Okay, so finally, what probably most of you guys have been waiting for is the underwater footage. We're gonna do, we're gonna do the Yum Dinger, rigged as obviously Texas rig. Uh, I'm gonna put the GoPro in the water, hopefully try to get just exactly how this thing looks in the water. It's gonna be a little difficult doing this by myself, so hopefully this turns out all right. So it definitely looks like it's shimmying in the water pretty well actually and again hopefully you guys can see that it's quite hard to film this kind of stuff by myself okay so I'm gonna take this off of here we're gonna see what this looks like wacky rigged and then I will compare all three side by side for you guys uh, on the video. So let's see what this looks like wacky rigged. Okay, so that is the Yum Dinger Texas rigged and wacky rigged. Next we will do the Senko. Texas rig this thing real quick. Alright, let's get this in the water. Again, this is the Senko, the real Senko. Definitely, it has more of a, a flutter effect to it, if you ask me. Just looking at it, you know, obviously I'm looking at it from in the tub. We're going to do the same thing. Take this Senko. I'm just, I'm not going to burn through all my stick baits today, so that's why I'm trying to reuse them. Okay, now I got that wacky rigged. Put that in the water. Definitely has a better action wacky rig.
All right, here is the Guggen Squad Lunker Log. Time for the Lunker Log now. Lunker Log kind of seems to like go back and forth a little bit when it's falling. At least it looks like that from up here. Uh, again, we'll be able to see it better once I get onto the computer. It has this little bit of a slower fall, I think, than the Senko does. Okay, and finally, we will wacky rig this thing right through the middle there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. It really means a lot to me. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.